By the early 1900s, along with many other species of wildlife, there were no turkeys left in many parts of the country. This was mostly due to unrestricted free market hunting. In Ohio, wild turkey reintroduction programs started in the 1950s. In 1966, a few counties were open for hunting. That year, hunters harvested a whopping 12 turkeys. It took until 1984 for hunters to have the first year of a harvest of 1,000 turkeys. In general, hunters in Ohio didn't have a reasonable chance at success until the early 1990s. My dad, my son's grandpa, was one of the people who were able to take advantage of a new and growing population of eastern wild turkeys. He has harvested more turkeys than anyone I know, and whether he strikes on the first day or the last day, he typically doesn't go without a turkey in his freezer. He compiled a list of tips and tricks for us to relay to you, which he calls Grandpa's Proven Turkey Tactics to Try. Number one, tag team. My dad's first turkey was harvested when he and a friend of his teamed up. Often the tom will stop coming into you just out of sight and range. This is because the hen will typically go to him. Having a caller 30 to 50 yards behind you can pull that tom into your vision and range. Number two, the hen up tom. During most of the turkey season, toms will already have plenty of hens to keep him occupied. While he is still definitely interested in acquiring even more company, he will likely be reluctant to leave his current ladies for you. The hens will typically try to pull him away from you. When this happens, stop calling. Try sneaking up to the spot where he was before he was led away. Call a couple more times from that location. Sometimes you can either irritate the hen he's with and she will bring him with her while she's trying to run you out of town. If it doesn't work the first time, just repeat the process in the subsequent locations. If you like these tips so far, please consider subscribing. Number three, late morning birds. Often in the late morning, the toms get quiet. If you get bored, walk around and scout for a new spot. Make sure to walk slow and call every once in a while. If one gobbles at you, there's a good chance he's coming straight for you without making another sound. Try to sneak a few yards in between where you called and the direction you think he will come in from. Find a good spot and sit down. Number four, put the call down and use a stick. Turkey calls are not the only thing a turkey will respond to. If the turkeys know you're there, put the call down and scratch at the leaves on the ground like a turkey will do looking for food. It can be very effective. Number five, the creature of habit. Often in the morning, you will hear a tom go the same direction every day. Get along his path. Don't use the call at all. Just find a good place to sit down and wait. We hope you like these tactics. I know I've used many of them and they work well for me as well. Try them and let us know how they work out for you.